Hi guys and welcome to Excel DBA Advanced Search System. Alright, let's start by first of all using the spinner button. You see that? It's actually counting how many or whatever data you're looking for. And here you can see the barcode. The barcode is actually representing the reference number. There. You can update. Look at this. L code. So let's change L code to L Jones. And first of all, let's look for L code here. That's L code right there. Now we've changed it to L Jones. Look at that. It's now L Jones. Okay. And uh, supposing we change. The reference as well check that out is t999 so i can just click on update and the same thing is happening on the worksheet itself okay we can delete if we want or oh, let's add this else box again so i'm going to click on add so which means we now have a duplicate of else look at it right there we have l jones i mean so all we can do is since it's just been selected, just click on delete. There we go. If we go down again, you see it's gone. We only have one L Jones there. See if I click on this very row counter, it's gonna tell us how many rows we have in there. In total we have 20. But supposing I delete, let's just get rid of it something else let's get rid of Paul Parker seems to have two Paul Parker in there okay. click on delete there okay. now let's check how many rows we have we have 20 okay let's get rid of there's another Paul Parker here get rid of that there okay. check out the counter saying we have 19 so that's how the counter works. And you can also print if you want. Let's hit on print. I'm going to print it out as a PDF file. There we go. And just save it somewhere. Let's take care of adding. Uh, oh, we've taken care of adding new. Let's search. So I'm going, you can search by any of these rules, choices, yours, whichever you want to use. Let's say I want to search by quarterly. So you just type in quarterly there and search. There we go. That is the quarterly. Supposing I want to search by first name. Let's go for dynamic and search. There we go. Look at that dynamic hunter. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of like uh, exit out and I take you guys straight into excel development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys and let's exit out to start a new project entirely so i'm going to just click on exit there we go and now i will right click here and just select excel right that is my new excel that i intend to use but i do have let's just copy this uh, data I could just copy that data and I'm going to paste that data right in here. So the previous one, let's just close everything off. I am now going to, first of all, let's save this file. File, save as, and I'm going to be saving it as, let's say, advanced underscore Excel search. Yeah, that would do. Okay, my directory is selected, so I'm going to come here, you see, Right underneath here, I want to save the file type. It's going to be Excel macro enabled. There we go. So make sure you save yours as Excel macro enabled. And click on save. That is it. Next, you do need, need the developer menu right there. If you don't have the developer menu, all you need to do is just click on the file. And right underneath here, select options. This dialog box pops up select customize ribbon and in there make sure you have your popular command scroll right down here 
you should be able to see your developer menu it will be on check make sure it's checked and click on ok and your developer menu should automatically appear up here so select the development menu and then click on visual basic right here and this environment opens up now go straight to the insert and select user form that is your form now i want to change the size of this form to let's go for 800 for the height and the width i'm going to go for and that will be 1290 there we go press enter next you need your toolbox that is it right there if you don't have it just click on it your toolbox to appear so and now i'm going to add frame so that we do that's my frame there and this very frame i'm going to make that about 79 or 71 make that 72 that is the height then scroll right down the width i'm going to make that 1254 there now get rid of the text content you have in there so go straight up here you should be able to see caption delete that and the back color i'm going to change that to green let's go to palette we should be able to see some so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to copy this three of those hold on to your control click and drag we have one and let's resize this now I'm going to resize this to about 577. So let's say 577. There we go. That would just be for the height. And we are up. Well, the other thing is I'm going to change the color. Let's change the back color. And to something very light. Yeah, maybe that. Okay, now I'm going to copy this again. Hold on to the control, click and drag, bring it to right in here. Right underneath here, that will do. And let's reduce the size of that very frame. I'm going to make that the height. Let's make it 200 and 264. And the width, um, I will set it for about 800 plus. Scroll right down. Let's see, width that's going to be 852. There we we'll go. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to copy this, hold on to the control, click and drag. Let's bring it right up here. Yeah, that would be for my tax bar. No, for my barcode, I mean. Yeah, that would do something like that. Now, copy this again. And bring it right underneath here. Yeah. And just drag this down. Maybe let's take care of the size properly so the height for that i'm going to make it about 486 486 and the width we can make the width about uh, 378 378 there we go so the width of this is going to be 378 as well. 378. What about the height for that? We can make the height. Maybe 42. Let's see what do I have in there. We'll make it 42. There we go. Move this up a little bit. And yeah, that is how it's looking right now. If I run the program, this is what you guys will see. With this, we have to come down a little bit. So let's bring this down. Yeah. 
Okay. So the next thing we want to do now, maybe I might as well just take care of this. Let's look for a list box. Let's enter a list box in here. There. And this very list box, we change the official name of that list box to LST display. There. And next, want to add labels. Come in here, add a label here. And also a text box. Here we go. No, it's a text box. Okay, this text box and label. I'm going to change the font size to something a little bit much more readable. Maybe, maybe we can set it for 20. So come in here and enter 20 in there for both of them. There we go. Or oh, maybe 20 bold. Not bold. Bold. Okay. So I can now just copy those. I need five of those, of course. So hold on to the control, click and drag two. Four and just one more. Yeah. All right, so I need three here. That's very good. Yeah, and I will now need Pumbo box. So come right here. No, I'm going to need three here. Actually, get rid of this. I need uh, two more Pumbo box. Yeah. So, combo box. So, just draw that in there. I make sure the font size for this combo box is 20 as well. Let's go back and do that 20. Bold. Yeah, let's copy it across. We have two and three. There we go. Now, up here, I'm going to just enter this title in here. First of all, let's change that background color to maybe something greenish. Okay, then now uh, the font color. I'm going to make that lighter. Right. And just the font. What about the font size? Ah. Uh, I'm going to make that maybe about 44. Let's come to font 44 bold. Okay. Now change the font type. Go straight to this action here. Just going to enter Excel. EBA Advanced Search System. Yeah, I'll do. Press Enter. Drag it across. Okay, next is going to be the okay. Let's come in here, copy this, and paste it right here. That's going to be for my search only. That that will be for the search. Change the color of that. Come in here and uh, just make it something lighter and the background color. Let's see, we'll do that again. No background color. There we go. And the font. For color. There. And in the end, just going to enter backward. Come straight to the caption. That will be backward. I'm going to be using some backward. I'll give you guys the link to the barcode itself so you can always download and install it on your system. Then we also need a text box there. Uh, the text box and don't you try that. Okay. So I'm going to name all of these 
And uh, I just get back to you guys as soon as I finish up. Oh, before then, let's add some buttons. We need buttons here. Okay. And uh, just change the font size of that very button to something a little bit much more manageable. Bold. Let's see, 22. Yeah. Okay, so we'll copy that across. I'm going to need eight of those, so just hold on to the control, click and drag. There we go. All right, we need. Yeah, just paste this one here. Okay, this very one here. Just copy. Yeah. Now I also need one right up there. Need to reduce that a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna be for my search button. Okay, so I need a text box in here. All right. Okay, let's start giving all of this component a name. This is going to be known as CMD. CMD. And the text on it is just going to be search. So go to the caption, change that to search. There we go. And here, no, not that very one. This one is going to be add new. Add new. And this button, that should be there. I think I'm going to need the spin buttons there. Okay, to get hold of a spin button, let's come in here my toolbar. We don't have a spin button in here. Just just right click on it and select add controls. So scroll right down. And right here you can see Microsoft's spin button, this very one here. So we want to add that. Okay. And here, that is my spin button. I'm going to click on the selected item and just click on OK. And right there, as you can see, my spin button is there. So all you need to do is right click, go to Add Components, and just look for your spin button, which is right here. And make sure selected item is, che is checked. If I uncheck it now, you might not see it. Okay, but it's right there now. Okay, just make sure it is checked. All the selected items. Right, make sure it's checked as default anyway. Alright, click on that and just draw it right here. There we go, that's my spin button there. Now, let's continue naming all of these. This one is going to be update. So that's update. And this is CMD update. There, I guess you get you guys get the whole idea. So I'm just going to kind of like speed that up. This one is CMD add name. I'm gonna speed that up and get back to you guys shortly. Okay guys, I've finished up with the design of the whole interface. This is how it's looking. So I'm going to recommend have a good look at it and just name yours as follows. Okay, whatever you see here, that is the name of the text box. And whatever you see here on each button, that is the name of the buttons. All right. So guys, I'm going to call it the end of this first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly.